channels for God's love in the world. Oh, thank you, Lord. Very good, thank you very much. My personal experience. Staff who loves the Lord, not spirit field. Are inspired by the Lord. I can entrust them big responsibilities. For, for example, the North Korean project. For example, the Nepal Bhutan project. For example, the Cuba project. Saudi Arabia project. I could entrust them because they were governed by the Holy Spirit. They could do it much better than I could do it. They had business gifts. They had local, local language gifts. They were from the area where we worked. My role is to give the vision. To encourage them. Maybe sometimes you have to give a little bit money. Do a plan with them. But then tell them, do it your way. Take what is good and let the Lord tell you how you should implement it. You need to trust other people. At the beginning they will not be able to do it as well as you do. Normally, normally. But they will grow. And you can focus on your role as a leader. To listen to God. To listen to the word of God. To share the word of God. To preach. To teach. To disciple. And to pray. This is not easy, huh? Everyone thinks I can do everything best. And until they are really worn out. And their members are born out. And they are not encouraged. They are not inspired. They have, not, they have nothing to contribute. You know, when you give responsibility, there is goal ownership. They take your, the, your goal as their goal. They're excited. They're part of it. Wow. I'm important. I can place my gift to the good of the church. That's why it's so important. Look at your church members. Ask God what is their gift. And give them responsibilities.